Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at Distant Kingdoms. This is a, uh, it's like a fantasy realm builder being developed by Orthra Studios and published by Casado Games coming out sometime this summer. But we have a demo over on the Steam, uh, in the Steam page that we can check out and see what it's all about. It's kind of an interesting idea, um, fantasy style. So we've got humans, there's orcs and dwarves and elves out there as well. And rather than just building one town, we should start with one town. Uh, but eventually we'll get to the point of having multiple towns and building like trade networks and exploring and hiring adventurers to go hunt dragons or whatever may be out there in the uh, in the realm. Uh, and I thought it was very interesting and something we should check out here. So let's go ahead and do it. There's no way of getting by the tutorial, even though I've done it already. So we're going to go through the tutorial and and work our way into this. I'll try to show off all the stuff. We can eventually get to the point of exploring new lands and, and we'll, we'll try to get there today. So first off, we have our city overview, which gives us our happiness and who all is living here, whether they're humans or whatever. And uh, right now, I think that's all we have is humans. They also need to build a small warehouse, which I will do. And we'll throw it in, like, right there. Uh, and a marketplace, right there. So once these things get built, we'll be good to go. Um, we can rotate them around, as it's saying up there as well. But basically, we'll have this warehouse, we'll build some lumber mills, you know, and berry farms and uh, houses and, and all that. Uh, but let's click on this guy. Um, inspector, yeah, yeah. So we have stockpile limits, we have efficiency, we have a number of people working here, employees, we have what storage is in this place, and uh, yeah, the jobs and all that. Um, also maintenance, we, we're, we're paying, uh, we have crescents, mana, happiness, and the number of people that live in this town are our resources here, and the chances of fires and crime or whatever. So also we can manage them, we can upgrade, or we can change things around. This guy we can say no berries here, whatever, for this guy. So, uh, let's get some roads put down here, and something like that. Alright, and put some houses in. Alright, alright. So, let's do, let's do a road, like, um, that way. Sure, sure. And we'll put in, I think it's going to do three houses. Let's do, um, one. Uh, here, let's do this. So, a little more creative. Two. Um, three. Uh, how about four? Okay, and we'll get a road in there. Maybe. Road, there's me. There we go. Let's crank this thing up. All right, so they go build. Ooh, how easy. They go build these houses over here. Uh, over here at the marketplace, you can see. Um, well, we'll see. When we get houses, it'll tell us what we need. Uh, because uh, depending on what race we have here, some some races want different things. If we got humans, then then they'll need things like bread and water, which is what we have in our little huts. The human peasants. Oh, what's in here? Our our, uh, our houses look very. Uh, they're all a little different. Yeah, nice, nice. Uh, Alright, so they'll pay me some taxes and uh, click on a house. Happiness is at 50% because they have they have their basic needs, but no bread, no water yet. So when they get that, they'll be happy. Alright, alright. And and if we can, of course, we can upgrade these things as, as time goes on. So market overview, got it. Thanks, tutorial. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, keep people happy. Produce some production buildings. Let's do, let's go uh, a tech tree. So right now, we can do basically nothing, but we can make... Uh, resource buildings. Let's go ahead and set our focus there. We need 10 residents, and then we can unlock things like the lumber yard, water well, uh, wells, and uh, and gatherers huts. So let's do that, shall we? I'll make this go away. Okay, so we need, uh, we need, what, one more house, and I think we'll just set it up over this way. Uh, actually, we'll do one more. Just to prepare for some things. They're going over a road over here. You can see, um, so we can only build like in this little area over here. You can see our, our region is this. We'll see this in more detail in a minute. Uh, this is our spot. We can eventually get out further, and I'm intrigued by a couple things out here. We'll send adventurers out to explore these lands. Um, for one thing, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Yeah, something very interesting over here. I'm not sure. But something. All right, uh, tech tree, uh, unlock that thing. Got it. So let's unlock that so we can build those lumber mill guys. Uh, we're going to work on, I think, stone mines up next. Um, yeah. So we'll set our focus for that. And let's go ahead and get a, uh, a lumber yard. I'm going to build two of them. Because when I was playing with this before, I needed more than one. So this guy's got a range, of course. He grabs trees. We know what lumber mills do. Pop them in there. And uh, I'm going to build another one. Right, um, right over here. Should be all right. Uh, we can see an efficiency on them based on how how um, well people working there and and how many trees are around. We can of course add more uh, trees if we need to in time. We can upgrade the thing later on if we need to. Also, uh, there's upgrades there for better axes. 
Better gears. Whatever. Um, uh, general tab. Okay, okay. There's plant trees. Got it. Got it. Thanks, buddy. And they're all going to go into that, that lumber, or that, that, that hut over there. Okay. So, uh, let's gather us out as well. Let me get this road set up here for these guys. So, let's go with something like that. This cost me a lot of cash, but it'll be worth it. Something like over there. There we go. Okay, I'll bring you some wood. Let's get some food in this place. Let's gather this hut. We'll sit over here by these berries. Like, uh, like this. And... Let's go out here. And over there. There we go. Okay, once it gets built, we'll be happy. Uh, we need two more houses, don't we? So let's set those up right now. I think we can keep in this little area over here. Nice and organized. I guess. Um, sure. We'll put one there. There, and we'll put one over there. We'll stick one there as well. Ooh. Come on, buddy. You wanna go? Oh, I don't. Huh? Oh, I don't have enough cash. I'm broke. Okay. Uh, let's not build too fast. So let's click on this guy. Um, he can plant some seeds if we need to, um, which will grab new berries out there. So sure, we'll do it. That's all our money. Uh, there it goes. And it pops more berries in there. So you just kind of, you know, manage these things a little bit and make sure they they have the resources. Same thing with the, the lumber mills. Make sure they got trees. And congrats. Thanks, Emma. Keep residents happy. Okay. Let's get in the hang of this. Oh, yeah? I think so. Uh, running low on crescents. Recommend you buy some, uh, build some houses. Okay. We'll do that in a minute. So, um... Oh, she's stuck here. So in, in here, we can keep an eye on the needs. B um, berries, of course, are necessary, which should start happening soon. Uh, and then they'll go in here to the market, and then they can feed themselves. Market probably should be a little closer to these houses. Everyone's just standing around here. What's all this? Uh, no loitering. Anyway. Oh, I can actually look at some things. Let me go and... We'll get a couple houses first, and then we'll go explore. So let's throw a... Let's throw a house over here. And we'll put one over here. Like that. So once we get that done, we can build a, uh, a mining node, or a mine, I mean, which over oh, there goes over there on the node. Uh, so the world overview, overview, let's see this. So here we go. Uh, there's my spot here. Now there's other regions we can explore at. We'll build a tavern eventually. We can go exploring this place. And um, according to the Steam page, I haven't got there yet, but there is, uh, there's like monsters out in the world and the adventurers will go hunt things like dragons or whatever. Uh, and, um, there's uh, the trade routes as well, so a lot of the things are uh, in there. I'm not sure if it's all there for yet for the demo. Okay, so mining's done. Let's build a mine. So we got one over here. This guy. Uh, let's build a. Where is it? Uh, stone mine. Right there, and we'll give it a road like that. Okay. Bit of a walk to get to the uh, the market, but. He'll figure it out. Uh, speaking of market, how, how are we doing our resources here? We got Oh, I got tons of wood. No berries, though. Hey, berry man. Why don't you do your job? Pick your priority up. You're important. Do your job. We could upgrade upgrade you, I guess. Um, foraging training. What do you just like? You point at the berries? You pick those? Uh, sure, more efficiency. It costs more. There's a, there's, a, there's a maintenance cost, but I'll take it. Because we need those berries. Uh, the stone mine is also running now, so we got stone coming in, which gives us that tech. Uh, we need one water well. Let's go ahead and put it in, uh, and it's going to be near to be. It's going to need to be somewhere over this way, I think. Let's go like I got an idea. Let's go like that, and let's build a road that will go something like over here, and we'll build like our. We'll need bakeries and farms and all that stuff around here also. So we'll deal with that in a minute, um, which we're going to have here in just a second. Right. Yeah. Crop farms, grain. We can learn bread as soon as we get a crop farm and some people. Uh, this is going to give us new houses when we get more houses. Uh, and then let's go do it. So I want... Oh, we'll do crop farm first. So we'll set this guy up over... I can't really reach over here yet. So we'll set him up over this way. Yeah, like... like um, well, as soon as I get some cash, I'm broke. Maybe we should build some houses. Give us some taxes. What you got over here? Extra taxes. Someone in the treasury isn't great at maths, resulting in too much tax being collected. What should we done about the excess money? Put it in my pocket. Okay. People are unhappy about that, but they can get over it. In fact, let's build some more houses. Let's kind of pre-prepare for some things here. Because we need tax money. Let's do some of that. Uh, you can see here we've got 
Oh, does it say it in here? Yeah, so we got 20 humans so far in town. I haven't got to the point of getting more, um, more, um, diverse folks in here. I'm very curious about that, though. Um, let's go, like, there. And then... So that's a decent amount. That'll get us, I think, up to 30. Uh, we need a crop farm. Let's go ahead and set that up. We gotta get some bread in this place. Sorry, my voice is a little, uh, a little raspy. Um, a bit of a cold. Let's go over there. And so at the farm, we can plant down fields. And we'll see that here in just a second. Once it gets built. The tutorial man will come back and, and yell at me a bit. Um, also, there's quarters. We can, like, paint quarters. West Rock? I don't know how that works. I haven't got to that point yet either. But I'm intrigued. All right, farm. I would like some fields, please. I would like some grain fields. We're going to pop these guys in like down there. It's like it can only hold six, so there's not really much need to, to pack these in too tightly. But, you know, it's not waste space. Um, you can hold six of them, eh? I'm sure there's ways of doing this way better. <laughs> What's that? That's five. So if I, if I only have five, I could have like four grain fields and one barley field or something. I can change them out in time. This doesn't need to be by a road, I don't think. So we'll just stash this guy uh, over here. Sure. Uh, we can change it out as time goes on. But if So if, since I have six grain farms, it means I'll get six grain each each uh, tick or whatever. Month. So and we can delete them all if we need to. We can have upgrades for, for better sides, uh, which I can do now. But I'm kind of broke. So I'm not going to. And that's done. So baking is now available. So let's learn how to make some bread. All right. I'll take some better houses as well. I'll go ahead and unlock that one. What's this? Magic. I would like some magic, please. This is Adventures for the Tavern Exploration. Uh, we'll set focus for magic first. We need uh, 50 people in town for that. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, I got new houses. I think I can come in here and say... I never had this before because I was always broke on wood. Yeah, we can upgrade next. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. <clears throat> oh, and it holds four people as well. Okay. There we go. I never built... I only had one lumber mill last time, and it wasn't enough. But this... Well, that's just all right. And we can go again with what? No, not yet. Not yet. We can go back down with it if we want to. Uh, no, I think I'm going to go... We'll get some more wood. Maybe I should do another wood guy. More wood, more better. Plant some seeds, buddy. Stop slacking. And let's put down a lumber yard. I thought for sure this would be a copyright song. Copy, uh, not fair use, whatever you want to say. Apparently it's fine, though. Something like that. And then you, sir, um, you're going to go and do some tree hunt, tree chopping. It might be wiser, I don't know, to just upgrade one. Rather than building multiple ones. I don't know. I'll do it though. Let's get plenty of wood in this place. Because we're going to need it for these houses to upgrade. So that's that plan. We need 50 people in town. We can just upgrade these guys or build new houses. Uh, I'm I'm intrigued about the building new houses. So I think we're going to do that. And we'll unlock our magic node. And then we'll get some exploration. We can go explore the place. We can hire adventurers. And set them out in the world. And we'll see what we can find. Uh, yeah, upgrade, buddy. Yeah, there you go. So you've got your, um... And you guys have what you need? Yeah, you've got your basic berry needs. You don't have any bread yet. That's right. I built... I got this stuff, and I didn't do it. So, I, um... I'm gonna want another well, I know. Let's set this guy up, because I'm a baker. He's gonna need it. So let's stash him in here with his friend. And then the bakery's gonna go... I don't know, probably right here. Or, actually, ooh, before we get a bakery, we gotta get a windmill. So, any more wood, we'll put a windmill. How do I have a tenth of a wood? Let's set this guy. Oh, yeah, right there. Perfect. Perfect. And then we can make flour. Flour and water make bread. And so we're going to put in a bakery right there. And then he will bake. And there he goes. It's really windy around here. Oh, what is that? That's fascinating. Ooh. Okay. I didn't see that before. It's right there. How'd I miss that? I don't see. I know what you're saying in the comments. Be quiet. Okay. Okay. Uh, back over here. 
We need uh, a few more people, so let's go ahead and upgrade some things. Um, all right, a wood now. Let's just put some houses down. Let's do some small houses. We can build them up later. I think we'll throw them like over here. Let's do something like that. We'll get taxes for this. It'll all be good. Um, uh, old uh, old Jimmy here lives over here. Works at the, at the stone mine. He uh, he could he live a he, he should have a house too. There you go. There you go, buddy. Okay, so you're working on on all thrusters. Yep. You need some sides. Well, I'll get you some wood in a minute. Like all my wood is going into this guy. Yeah, 120 wood for this bakery. There it goes. So now we take flour, we take water, we make a bread. You know what? You want your own uh, well, buddy? I can do it for you. Um, there you go. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Okay, new houses. We need two more houses, which are right there. That'll give us our 50. Or an upgrade. For more wood than we have, because I think it's all going into... These are just 10 wood to make those things. And I think they're, what, 30 gold? They're pretty cheap. I saw some of the pictures, though, they have of the bigger houses, and I've seen this phase, and they get extra cool when they get even bigger. So I, I'm intrigued by getting even bigger. So we got all the uh, all the needs supplied for them, though. Currently at highest available density. Um, yeah, how do I how do I get... Was that in here? That was that was what I just got, wasn't it? That was this one. Okay, exploration. We need more. We need sixty people for res for that. So we need only three more for for um, the magic. You know, let's. Um, we wait for. Uh, oh, whoa! Right, there's no road there. Right. There you go. Something like that. We could throw a few more houses over here if we wanted to. I'm not opposed to that. But that'll get us our fifty. So that gets us the uh, the magic tech. Then we can learn and go into exploration with ten more people. I'm ready to learn uh, to use some totems. So mana is a totem. Uh, is a totem's front font of power. So let's go build a mana spring, mana well. And this guy is gonna go like I don't know, right right there. There he goes. So once it gets built, which is I think a lot of wood, hundred wood, hundred stone, then we will go and make a. Uh, we'll put down a totem. Which is sort of like a, a a perk for this specific town. Uh, now remember, we'll eventually be making more towns, and we'll get trade routes and all that set up. So this one will eventually get to the point of having a uh, a totem here. I guess multiple is of these, depending on which town it's going to be. We got safety for fire risks. This one is for better money. Um, it wants me to make a foreman one, which is better production. So sure, we'll do that. It has sort of a range around it, as you can see, and I will put it right where it gets everything. Uh, not quite there. Uh, maybe like right. I gotta get a road back here. I guess we can do. Mm, let's do that. Does that reach that lumber mill? Let's just do that. Okay, so everything in that range. I don't know if he's in there or not. Gets the the uh, the boost effects, and we can we can adjust like stability, which is how much mana we want to use on this thing to get how bad how good we want to make it. It's how much mana we want to spend on it. So that's what this guy's doing. He's he's sucking it up and he's using it. So let's use a road here, and let's go, like, I guess like this, and then over, and then, and then, I don't know. Can I fit a house in there, maybe? Nope. 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 Well, alright. Let's put a couple more houses over here. Can I fit you in there? Yeah. There we go. Uh, give me a road, please. Like that. And... There we go. What, we need to get to 60, right? I'm at 52. So we need just a few more people for the exploration tech. That'll get me six more. So we don't, we don't, we're short one house. If I upgrade you, can I do it? I can. So there we go. That'll do it. 60 people. We can now do the exploration tech, which is a tavern. And next up is citizens. Which gives me fancy things, better clothing, it wants mid-density peasant houses, which we're working on already, and a tavern. Yep, we're working on we're gonna focus on that. Alright, exploration. Let's go do it. So we gotta build a tavern first, so let's pop down our tavern. Which is gonna go right, I think right here, next to the uh, the main the main place. Like that. Uh, I'll put a road in here. Right there. Nice roundabout around the uh, around the big balloon thing, whatever is going on over here. Not sure what all is going on over here. What's wrong with you? Some treasury isn't great at maths. Again, same one. 
All right. So it hurts our happiness, but they can get over it because I like money. There we go. Okay, so once it gets built, we're going to go to the exploration menu and we'll, we'll send out some, some folks to go on, a, on an exploration. And we're going to go look over there. I want to see what that is. So that's where we're going. Last time I didn't see that, I, I explored over on this side like a dummy. But this thing is going to take a lot of wood. It's up to uh, 250. Well, we've got it. It's coming in. I almost think it might be more wise. Um, we can, you know, manage what's in each of these things. So we could, like, set up a... It only holds... Well, I mean, it holds 5,000. It holds plenty of stuff. But uh, eventually we'll probably have to have multiple warehouses around. And we can have, like, a, a wood warehouse and a food warehouse or whatever. Uh, hey, buddy, can you give me some more berries? I wonder if it would be wise to just put a berry guy just kind of, like, by themselves. And then... He doesn't have any berries. This guy doesn't... No one has any berries. Hmm. There he goes. Okay, tavern done. Excellent. So, do the world overview. Alright, exploration button to enter exploration mode. Got it. And recruit adventurers. Let's do it. So, we have multiple people to choose from. And they have, like, all these different traits. I don't know where this comes in. Um, basically, what happens is you sort of send them off into the world. And they may or may not succeed. They'll level up in time. They have a certain amount of how much money they cost. Um, but we've got, like, um, you know, Marine. We got we got Sophina Trent, the orc. Sure, you're hired. What are you? You're a detective. And you're also an orc. Okay, you're hired. Um, let's bring... Let's bring the, uh, the prankster dwarf. Sure. And then we'll bring... Um, um, what are you? Are you an elf? Elna. Elna the elf. You are a kleptomaniac, and you have sharp hearing. Okay. And let's bring a human. Uh, oh, Co Coden Dar uh, Drox. Master of the Forge. You're shady. I don't know about shady people. Um, are you human? You are human. Intelligent. You have troll tongue and a scholar. Yeah, you're hired. Okay, so we'll go back to the map here. And we'll send them on an adventure. We're going to go look at this one. I got to tell you, send on an adventure and go here. And so they're going to go and do that. And you'll see it, it sort of bounces over there. Um, they have a morale, like if they lose fights or whatever. I don't think we can actually see them doing anything. I guess we can look. Um, we oh, I, I did it already. There it goes. Okay, gotcha. I understand. Okay, so it may take on creatures or dungeons over there. Maybe something successful. Which we'll find out. And I don't think I can actually see it. Oh, we got something. Party has encountered a group of imps who had been following them for some time, looking for a way to cause total chaos. They find that way when the party happens upon a ruined house. The imps beckon them forward with evil grins. Should they follow? Of course. As the party nears the house, they can see that it was once a grand place. Perhaps the home of one of Inneron's former inhabitants. The doors and windows on the ground floor are blocked up. However, meaning... The only way in is through an upstairs window. Yeah, scale it. Well done. They reached the top without incident. Others able to follow. Huzzah! Okay. Can I actually see them out there? I can't, can I? They're... Oh, hey. Well, we can see the imps. Oh, they're my, my partner. Oh, there they are. Oh, that's fantastic. There they are. Okay. Once inside the house, the party is stunned to see that the appearance of a ruin on the outside was just that. Appearance. Inside the house is as grand as an intact as would have been years ago. What a strange place. They're itching to explore. Get in there. Be more careful. They dive right into exploring without a second thought. Why not the hard way? It was booby-trapped. Okay. Um. Um, check for traps. No more action points. Can I tell you to do it? There you go. Okay, found some booby traps. I guess we should tell people that are good at finding that stuff to go do that. Okay. So last time I did this, it was just, there was no quest, there was no story things, they just, they found nothing and they came back. Bottom of the stairs party are greeted by a variety of sounds. Scurrying little hooves can be heard all around them. Followed by an evil little chuckle we all know so well. So, search or track. What do you do? You get good hearing. So yeah, track them. They're devilishly clever. They've learned to cover the tracks well. Alright. Let's search. Okay, we found him. Ran out of action points, must withdraw. A blow to their morale, no doubt. Disastrous. Okay. They have miserable morale. Well, they get over it. Okay, so I think we gotta wait for a little bit, and then they'll come back, and then they can go back out, I think. 
I believe is how that works. So we'll wait and see what happens. Uh, tavern's done. We need one more nice house to get the citizen tech. So let's go turn this guy up. And, oh, is that it? Oh, but I want to see more! <clears throat> anyway, there's the demo of Distant Kingdoms. It is available on Steam. And I want to see what those imps are up to. Anyway, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.